it's me, Ola. I'm coming at you from the road. Well, I just spent four and a half, five hours on the water. I landed about 19 fish, 19 bass. I don't think I caught any other species today, just bass. One beauty. I mean, a real beauty. But uh, this is my first time fishing here since before I went to Maine. And of course, since the hurricane, it's flooded. But this lake is so much bigger than the one I fished yesterday that it had room to absorb more of the water before it filled up and went over. I don't think any of the homes flooded over here. Not that I could tell. I could see water line up in their yard, but I didn't see any houses that looked like they had been underwater. So good on them on this lake, but yesterday's Lake X, no good. So today I went, I covered a lot of water. I don't know, five miles maybe, four and a half, five miles. And I went to my hot spot and I don't even think I got a fish over there, honestly. I got them all on the other part of the lake that I normally do poorly in. So they were just in a mood. And I'll tell you straight up, it was mainly the the uh, Old Faithful that caught the fish. So if you're not into finesse fishing, this won't be the video for you. <laughs> but you know me, I love finesse fishing. I really love any fishing, but they just weren't hitting moving baits. I definitely tried them. And I did get a hit on the bull shed, and uh, you'll see in the video. But fun, fun day, super fun day. Now I'm trying to hydrate. Tough launch, guys, such a tough launch. The boat ramp is closed because the entire area, the park that the boat ramp's in is closed. So I didn't launch from the park just in case anyone's wondering. I made my own launch. So I got her done, but it was not easy. Mm -mm, man alive. So I'm pretty much whooped. Go home, take a shower, hydrate, some ice water, maybe some more coffee and relax. I have a headache too. It's pretty hot out, folks. Water temperature's up to 80, probably 81 by now. This was kind of a surprise trip. I really didn't know if I was gonna fish today. But since the forecast said cloudy and windy, I said, sure. And it was neither, neither one for a long time. So I had to bake in the sun. I did get some breeze though. So with all that being said, how about if I roll you today's flooded, closed park, beautiful fish, fishing footage. Good morning, folks. It is 6.55 on Friday. Once again, I'm going to hit some flooded waters, and uh, this is really flooded. It's probably not going to appear as bad as yesterday's trip, but it's still pretty flooded. So we're going to see if any fish are ready to eat, if I can get launched. This was not an easy launch, and it's going to be quite hard getting back. I'm just mashing all this grass down. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Dang. There we go. I've done worse, folks. I have definitely been through worse grass. There we go. Now it's probably going to drop off to 10 feet right away as soon as we get off the grass. All right, we're in. So let's see if we can get on any flooded, hungry bass out here. Stick around. Wow, there's so much grass right up on the bank. There are probably fish under that too, because it's not solid. You can, you can step on it and it sinks. sticky morning and it's supposed to be cloudy and right now it's clear but I'm hoping that some clouds roll in for some coolness so let's let's go on into the 
way up in there where I love to go. Let's throw this popper in this canal. There's usually a fish or two in the canal. There are bait fish in there. Come on, fish. This uh, location isn't my best top water location by any means. They just, I don't know why, they just aren't super aggressive on top waters. Let's throw the, it's about five feet in here. Let's throw the weightless mag finesse. Maybe we can get somebody to chase it down. Boy, it's dead calm right now. I need some wind. Oh, where was that at? Right behind me. Sheesh. Maybe more in the mouth. Right up there. I just saw a fish jump way over on the other side. I almost want to put on the tiny child again, just to get down. It did so well for me yesterday. Right now I have a Nico, heavy-weighted Nico. Let's see if anybody's over by these trees. It's kind of a mediocre day as far as the bass rating, but you know how that goes. Shoot, on some of those days, I just clobber them. Got him. Oh, he got off. He got off. It was a little turkey. Little turkey. It's funny, they're on to the mag finesse again today. I forgot to get more, too. Dadgummit. I do that all the time. I think to myself, okay, get this, this, and this bait before you leave the house. And then I forget it all. That's in the grass right there, that bass was. Let's go over here in the shade. How about that? We'll work this shade line. Where are my clouds? Come on now. Wow. Where are my clouds? Where are my breeze? I don't see five, six mile an hour breeze. No how, no way. I can see the old watermark. This thing was a couple of feet higher. Probably one giant lake all through the woods connecting to the other pools. This is not as startling as the other lake. give the bull some swim time. We're in the right water depth for it, for sure. Swim it over the top of all these brush piles that are underneath.
Probably going to have the lake to myself today. That's my guess. Since the ramp isn't open, there won't be any John boat launches from anywhere. Not anywhere I could see. We're going to go over here where there's a creek inlet and throw right up in that area for just a few casts. See if anybody's coming over through the creek or if they're ambushing bait or whatever. We'll see if we can nail one over there. Something's hitting it, guys. That was a hit. It really was. Let's throw it right back over there. That felt like a bump. Let's follow that up with the, uh, since we're very shallow, we'll put the mag finesse in there. Same spot, just let it drop because someone bumped that big, big swim bait. Probably a little turkey. They probably got spooked. Let's put the tiny child over there. Doesn't hurt to try, guys. If you miss with one bait, go right back in with something else. They might just change your mind and wallop it. See that? We got him. Oh, we got him. We got him. Now that, that's probably the little dude that hit that big old swim bait. First fish of the day. Well, thank you, fish. I sure appreciate it. I sure appreciate you making my plan look like it was a good plan. And that hook is on that side cartilage. quick snatch and he's out there we go that's number one little feisty feller now that fish did exactly what I was telling you they'll miss with one thing throw one or two other things at them and they suddenly get hungry again so definitely pays to, to hit a spot with different baits all right we're going back out with our bull shed We'll keep throwing it for a bit. If that had been a bigger fish, he probably would have smashed this swim bait on the first pass. Folks, it's hot. Got him. That's a good one. Feels good. Oh, decent. Decent up in the grass. Look how dark. Little darky. Number two. Thank you, fish. Let's make a couple of couple more casts up there and I'm gonna head to some other spots I need to get up in there let's go around there real quick that fish felt a lot bigger than it was it had a good good strike look at all this stuff does that not look just major fishy There's a creek up in here. I think it might come out on both sides of these trees. I don't usually catch much right here, believe it or not. I think the creek must be over on that side. We need some fall temps, folks. 
cool the water down. Once again, today it is about 78 right now, but with the sun out, it'll probably warm up to 80. Oh, he's swimming away with it. Another one on the tiny child. Number two, funky fish. There's some hungry little fish in this little spot. They didn't even let it hit the bottom. Hungry little hippos. That last one bumped my swim bait. That's how I found him. Number three. So I went in with the tiny child. Hi, girls. All right, we're in a little hole. Oh, those horses are so pretty. They're kind of tweaked on me being out here in the water. Look at them, they're running all over. Super pretty. Yeah, they don't care for me being here. They call me an intruder. There he is, look. Gorgeous. Hi. Horses are so awesome. Those horses look beautiful. Solid muscle. All right, let's see if I can get rid of this spider hair without hurting it. I think it dropped on my net when I came through the lakes there where the grass gets real high. She's full of eggs. I can't take her all the way to the shore, but I could put her on some of these grassy areas. She'll make it. I'll put her in one of these bushes here. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look at that thing. You guys see it? Hang on, spider. I gotta bring my drive up, but I don't wanna disturb it. Okay, I'm gonna set you down right there. She's been on there for a while. <clears throat> Stay put, spider. Let's get her in there. Operation Spider Rescue. We'll put her on this tree over here. All right, fish. I mean, all right, spider fish. Look at it, guys. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. Come on. Get out. Go on. There she goes. Go on. I'm going to put her in the water. Oh my gosh. She doesn't want to come out, folks. Here, get out. Get in the branch. There she goes. I hope these things don't jump. If it jumped on me, I'd think I'd have a heart attack. Oh, come on. What is she, a wolf spider? Get on there. There it goes. Oh, 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 oh. Yikes, let me get out of here. 
she's hanging upside down right there. Let me see if I can get out without disturbing that branch. There we go. See you, spider. I hope you make it. That's a giant. Wow. Yeah, if I'd thrown her in the water, she'd drown. She'd probably float, but then a bass would eat her. little turkey it's okay it's been a couple of hours since I've had a bite watch the eyeball oh, didn't want to take his eye he's good thanks fish I feel like I'm deep in the Amazon jungle those are limpkins inside that tall grass there's two in the trees and some somewhere right in here. Oh, we got off. Oh, good fish, good fish. That's good fish. He's digging. Come on in. Come on in. Feels like about three pounds. Oh boy. Oh, that's a good one. That's a beautiful fish. Oh, he was right on the cypress tree. Ha 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 ha. It had a pretty decent hook set in the cheek. Oh, what a beauty. Guys, that fish is so heavy. She's a beauty. I don't think I'm going to wear her. We'll just get a release on her. What a fight. Let's let her go. Boy, she was jumping all over the place. It kind of felt like a snag at first, but uh, one more look. She is gone. Thank you, fish. What a beauty. That kind of made my morning. Yes, she did. She was probably three pounds. There's one. Little. Oh, real little. That last fish could have eaten this one alive. Take it though. Another little one. Boy, they're all up in these trees. belly on them. Thanks, fish. He's a digging. Here he comes. Ooh. Come here. You 
beautiful little tiny bee shoe. Right on the tongue. There we go, there we go. Little turd. Thank you, fish. That's a nice one. Bite is turned on, folks. Number 10. Thanks, fish. giant oh I do have one <laughs> then I thought it was a snag uh, sorry fish sorry little fish tiny dinkster oh was wild. See if he's still in there. See if he still wants to hit. Yep. Got him. Got him. Oh, he's rowdy. He is rowdy. Wow. Okay, fish. He hit twice. I'm surprised. He is so angry. Watch. swimming right at me. Oh, there he knows. There he saw that he's caught. Oh, that's a decent one. All right, all right, fish. So dark. There he goes. Thank you, fish. Haven't thrown it yet today. It can handle some of this grass. Though I do have some submerged brush up here that probably better not fish. Not with this. It's pretty warm out here. This breeze is making it tolerable, but barely. Water temp is at 80 now. A little over. Pretty warm. Still rocking the reaction tackle braid here. No problems. Feels good. Right there. Goes a mile. Uh oh. Nope, that's a snag. There it goes. Sure felt like a fish for a minute. Probably a branch and it just gave out. I'm going to put this away because I'm coming up to the submerged brush pile. Don't want to lose that rattle trap. Let's go back with the tiny child since they're a dime a dozen. Let me find my spot. It's all buried now. I don't see any, any brush sticking up. Let's see. It says it's over here. Let's see here. Did I pass it up? It 
should be right around here somewhere. Let's go back to my side scan. All right, let's keep an eye out for it. All the brush is either gone or I am way off on where it is. Let's see. I think it's further out just because there's so much more water right now. Boy, oh boy, I don't even see it. I see my other spot. It still has a twig sticking up. But I can't find my big brush pile. There's a little something right there. It's almost all gone, I think. It's not that I can't find it, it's just gone. It had been there a few years. There's a fish. Got him. Got him. Betcha he's on the brush right there. That's probably where it's at. That was a good cast. There he goes, feisty little dude. Oh yeah, there it is. I'm over the top of it right now. There's a whole lot of it down here. Thanks, fish. Little bitty dude. Barely hooked. Thanks, fish. Now comes the fun part. 